welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and I'm so glad you guys decided to join me for another video. Today is another studio vlog. I have a few orders to get done so I thought I would take you along with me again and show you how I package. Um, I have two onesie orders. I have a mug order and then I have a Valentine's Day outfit order. One's a skirt with a 6 to 12 month onesie. I'm waiting for my onesies to come in. My embroidered onesies. I don't embroider on the Carter's onesie. So I'm waiting for my AJ Blanks order to come in. It should be here any day. So I'm just going to get the skirt started. So I at least have it done so that when that gets in, I just have to work on the onesie. I have two orders already packed. Somebody yesterday ordered four yards of fabric and I was so excited. So check out my TikTok if you want to see a video on that. So let's get into it. Now the onesies are all done. How cute is that? I'm loving all these Valentine's Day orders. And then this is uh, one of my best selling onesies. My daddy is my hero with a thin blue line for uh, police support. So every order gets a thank you card with a coupon code for their next order. A connect with me card and it has my Facebook and Instagram handles. Care instructions for washing the onesies and then their order slip. So I paper clip all that together and then it goes in these clear poly mailers and then goes into these blue mailers and then I put the shipping label right on top. So I'm gonna bag these up and get them done and move on to our cup. to move on to my mug order I have an 11 ounce sublimation mug um, I got these ones from coastal business but there's several different websites you can get it from you can get it from pro world coastal business um, I think there's I think it's sublimation 101.com there's lots of places that you can get these you can even get some of them on Amazon I've gotten the amuse brand on Amazon several times and they take well they take the ink well um, so this is an 11 ounce mug and it is getting this design. I print out all my designs on one sheet and then just cut them out as I need them. As you can see, it's mirrored because I'm going to cut it out and then put it directly onto the cup. So, so when you print it through your printer, it has to be mirrored. So I'm going to cut out two of these cause I do, I offer designs on each side on my mugs and then I am going to wipe my mug off so that there's no lint on it. And then I'm also going to wipe it. Uh, my press off 
And then what other supplies do I have? I have my fan for when it is all done. I turn this on as high as it will go and just set the cup in front of it to cool down. Um, with sublimation ink, after you take it out, the ink can continue to spread as the cup is still really hot. Um, Cause I set this, I do my cups at 360 degrees, 365, it, it fluctuates for 180 seconds. So it's a really hot cup. So the ink will continue to spread. So you want to cool it down really fast. I've seen people suggest putting it in like dipping your cup in like lukewarm water um, to help cool it down. I haven't personally done that because I've read other um, like forums and stuff where that actually causes the cup to crack and I don't want to do that. So putting it in front of the fan has worked really well for me. So, um, so yeah, so that's, I think that's, oh, and heat resistant tape. I have to have this because obviously it keeps this under the cup and then I use tweezers to help me with the tape so that I don't touch it with my fingers. You want to make sure you clean your cups really well because if there's any lint or even just like a tiny hair on it, the heat from the sublimation and the sublimation coating on here, it will leave like a little blue mark and it won't do that just on cups. It'll do it on your sublimation onesies or whatever product you're using. So you want to make sure it's completely clear of all lint so that you have a clean, crisp product. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys real quick on the press. So when you first put the cup in, I should have shown this to you earlier, but when you first put the cup in, the temperature, even though I warmed it up and had it set to 365, it went down all the way to like almost 300 because the cup is cold. So the temperature um, sensor thing that's in here goes down. So I'm waiting for it to get back up to temperature to hit the green button and then my countdown timer will start and then when it is all done, it will start beeping at me. Okay, so here is the mug all finished. I think it turned out super cute. I've actually sold about four of these this week, which is funny because they've been in my shop for a long time. And they, I don't know, it's funny, like things like go in waves. You know, you don't sell something and then all of a sudden you sell like four or five of them. So I'm going to box it up. I got these boxes from Coastal Business also. They have 11 ounce ones and 15 ounce ones. And then I got these six by six by six mailers off Amazon. So I just put my packing paper in it. Yes, I'm watching This Is Us. <laughs> so I just put my packing paper in the bottom. And then after I put the cup in here, I will pad around it in here and then more padding on the top and then seal it up and put the shipping label on. Okay guys, so now all these Etsy orders are packed and ready to go to the post office. I'm not ready to go to the post office quite yet because I have a couple other things just around here, housewives that I need to get done. So I want to get that skirt done first, that Valentine's Day skirt. So I have my heart fabric ready. I'm going to cut out the pattern and get that started and get these 
out of the way so that I can finish working for the day. We got done the last thing that I needed to get done today. I made this six to 12 month skirt for my order. I think it is adorable and I can't wait to send it out. So hopefully in my next video, I will be doing the matching onesie that goes with it so that I can complete this order in its entirety. Thank you guys so much for coming with me and finishing those orders and packing them. Um, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button and hit the bell notification so that you get notified 
every single time I upload a video and I will see you guys next time.